Welcome to the DVX product installation overview video, Hanging the Display Cabinet. Prior to hanging the sections, an installer must perform a structural verification of the structure. To verify the stringer width, the installer will compare all measurements to the contract-specific drawing. Measure the distance from one end of the lowest stringer to the other. Mark the center point on the structure for installation reference. Repeat the measurement for each stringer level. To verify stringer location, measure from the top of the lowest stringer, top of steel, to the top of steel for each stringer level above. Repeat these measurements at both ends of each stringer, at each vertical support, and at mid-span of any spans over 25 feet. If stringers are more than a half inch away from designed location, contact the project manager. To verify stringers are generally in line, also called ends are plumb, hang a plumb bob from the end of the top stringer such that the string doesn't touch any stringers. Measure from the string to the end of each stringer. Repeat these measurements at both ends of the structure. If the ends of the stringer are more than plus or minus one inch from plumb, contact the project manager. To verify front faces of stringers are plumb to each other, hang a plumb bob from above the top stringer so that the string doesn't touch any stringers and measure from the string to the front face of each stringer. Repeat these steps at both ends and the middle of the stringer. If measurements vary by more than plus or minus one half inch, contact the project manager. To verify the bottom stringer is straight, at both ends of the bottom stringer measure back a set distance X from the front face of the stringer and stretch a line tight between those points. Measure from the front face of the stringer to the string line at approximately 10 foot intervals along the length of the stringer. Repeat the measurement for additional bottom stringers. If measurements vary by more than plus or minus one half inch, contact the project manager. Hanging the display to the steel frame is the next step in the process. A crane picks up the display using the lift points. Eye bolts are used for tag lines. As the crane is lifting the next section from the crate, it is essential the display cabinet does not hit anything and that the other displays are anchored so they don't fall over. As the display is raised, a person or persons will tether the display cabinet so it does not get damaged. Before you hang the first display cabinet, find the center line of the steel structure. It is recommended that the first display cabinet hung is the bottom center. Make sure the clip angles are loose before flying the display cabinet. After the first display cabinet is centered and level, ensure a plumb measurement is taken before fastening securely. Then move in a left outward direction to hang the cabinets. Once completed, hang the cabinets in a right outward direction of the center cabinet on the bottom row. When the bottom row is hung, proceed to the next level up by hanging the center display cabinet and move outward, hanging cabinets in a left and right direction. Here is a fastening sequence to help the installer hang the cabinets correctly. Make sure the clip angles are loose before flying the display cabinet. The section must be plumb and level. All other sections to be hung rely on this. Set the clip angles and tighten them to the display. Permanently attach the clip angles to the structure using the method called out for in the contract specific shop drawing. The next display section will be hung to the left and right of the center display. Follow the configuration drawing sequence. Before flying the rest of the sections on the row, loosen the top and bottom clip angles. Slide the top down and the bottom up. Use precision blocks in the corners of the cabinets to align the cabinets together. Temporarily secure the vertical portion of the section to the structure. Install the interconnect bolts across the vertical seam, but do not tighten until there are bolts in every precision block location and the section is level and plumb. If misalignment occurs, adjust the section. If the alignment cannot be made, contact the project manager. When everything is level and plumb, set the clip angles and permanently secure the sections to the structure. Continue this method until the row is completed. After the first row is completed, the next step is to hang the center section on the next row up. Follow the steps we just talked about to fasten the vertical seam for the next row. You will also need to fasten the horizontal seam. Make sure all of the interconnect bolts are in the precision blocks and the sections are level and plumb before tightening. Once the sections are level and plumb, you may set the clip angles and secure the sections to the structure. Here is an example of a section that needed to be maneuvered to get into the correct place. Looking from the outside, you can see the display snap into place. It is critical to get the sections aligned. If they don't align correctly, the display will have seam issues.
Here is some useful information regarding seam definition, alignment in the X, Y, and Z directions, rotational alignment, and precision block alignment.